when I came into KFWB early on in my uh, job there, I came in and there was this big bottle of I don't know, come some, some kind of champagne, and a note underneath it that said, how would you and your wife like to spend a whole week on this yacht, da -da -da, or weekend rather, this whole weekend on this yacht with all your friends and uh, nobody there but you and the crew. Do whatever you want, enjoy the yacht for the whole weekend. Wow, you know, what an offer, right? Uh, and then, uh, P.S., all you got to do is play, da da da, play my record for a couple of days. And uh, so I thought, oh man, this, this is just crap. And so, number one, I banned that guy from the, from the station. You cannot come in here for 30 days. Nobody offers anybody at this radio station money or anything to play a record. And uh, so, okay, fine. And I issued another big memo, la 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 la, that, you know, you can't do it. If you take, if I find out you did, you're out. You are wired. Later, I found out that Ted Quillen, late at night, I don't know whether he was taking money or not, but he was taking stuff because about between two and five in the morning, he would go all over, he didn't care about the playlist, you know, and he was a real big fan of Sinatra. One day, one night, Sinatra called him. He said, I just want to thank you for playing all my records. It's just wonderful, you know, to, and you obviously, you like him. And I went, oh man, I love it. Is this really you? He said, yeah, it is. And, uh, oh man, that's great. And then, the next night, comes a knock on the door, and there's a pizza delivery man. And uh, <laughs> they got a pizza for it. I didn't order pizza. Well, we got one for it. Okay, went out, and there's a little note to it attached. It says, enjoy. I'm just TQ, enjoy. Francis Albert. Well, who the hell was Francis Albert? Only Quilla knew it was Francis Albert Sinatra that had sent him that uh, pizza. And he told me about it. And uh, I said, so you're not playing on, you're not, you're going off the playlist at night? And he said, oh, shit. <laughs> so we had this tremendous thing about Paola. And the thing was, no, no, never. I have information, and if you want, you can refute it. But I have information that implies that once you took a payoff to add a record to the playlist, does the name Ed Cookie Burns mean anything to you? Uh, guilty. <laughs> guilty as charged. <laughs> In those days, there was a very popular television show may have been the most popular show on the air, called uh, 77 Sunset Strip. And in it, there were these great private eyes who solved all these problems. And there was a teenage guy with this great hair, and he was always combing his hair, and his name was Ed Cookie Burns. It was a hit. Amazing, amazing. Well, these people uh, had actually offered me <laughs> a role on the show if I would play Cookie Burns' record. I said, you mean I'm going to be on television? I've always wanted to be an actor. <laughs> so uh, uh, I, I had the record, and we listened to it. And I asked our music director if he thought it was worth a damn. And he said, yeah, that's not a bad record. And, uh, uh, and by the way, our music policy was that nothing went on the air without all the DJs voting for it unless our music director, his name is Bill Angel, thought it was really special and we wanted to get it on the air first, we'd go on the air and call it our discovery. And it was a big deal. So I said, uh, how good do you think it is? Is it a discovery? And he says, eh, maybe. So I said, okay, good. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll put it on the air. And I did. <laughs> and so I got this part. Well, the part was, <laughs> uh, there was a hotel scene, and I was sitting at one of the tables in the hotel, restaurant, I guess, uh, and Cookie Burns comes running in there. He's chasing after a crook or being chased by somebody, and, uh, 
And he comes running in and he looks at me and says, Hey Chuck, how are things at KFWB? And I said, Great, Cookie, great. And he says, Okay, man, see ya. And off he went. <laughs> and that was my role. Cookie, Cookie.